Welcome to the world of dividend investing, a strategic chess game in the financial market where patience and foresight are key to building long-term wealth. Imagine a stream, steadily flowing and sometimes swelling larger, that's your income through dividend investing. It's a strategy that thrives even in the turbulent waters of market volatility and economic downturns. Why? Because dividend-paying stocks are the stalwarts of the financial world, strong, stable, and reliable. They're the kind of companies that weather storms and provide a sense of security to your investments. And here's the magic trick, when you reinvest those dividends, you're not just saving, you're compounding. Your portfolio doesn't just grow, it multiplies, creating a snowball effect of passive income over time. In today's video, we're putting two giants of the dividend ETF world under the microscope, the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF SCHD and the JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF JEPI. Join me as we delve into each of these funds, exploring their strengths and weaknesses and ultimately deciding which one stands out as the better buy in our current economic landscape. Let's dive into the performance battle between SCHD and JEPI. Since JEPI entered the public market, SCHD has been the clear front-runner in terms of performance. But what does this mean for you as an investor? Simply put, SCHD has been more effective in increasing the value of its investments over time compared to JEPI. To put this into perspective, let's compare SCHD to the S&P 500, a widely recognized stock market index comprising 500 of the largest companies listed on stock exchanges in the United States. SCHD has not only kept pace with this index but even surpassed it until the artificial intelligence boom. This year an explosion in artificial intelligence technologies significantly boosted the value of large companies known as mega caps which are heavily represented in the S&P 500. This boom in AI caused the S&P 500 to soar, outpacing dividend-focused stocks like those in SCHD's portfolio. Another important factor to consider is the expense ratio. This is a fee that funds charge their investors to cover operating expenses. Think of it as a small percentage of your investment that goes towards managing the fund. SCHD's expense ratio is remarkably low at just 0.06%, meaning less of your money goes towards fees and more towards your investment's growth. In contrast, JEPI's expense ratio is higher at 0.35%, which, over time, can eat into your returns. Despite SCHD's impressive track record, it's important to note that JEPI's performance history is relatively short, making it harder to gauge its long-term potential. However, its higher expense ratio does pose a challenge, potentially slowing down its growth compared to SCHD. Now let's talk about dividend growth, a key factor for many investors who rely on dividends as a source of income. SCHD stands out here with a remarkable compound annual growth rate, CAGR, of 11.39%. CAGR is a useful measure that shows how much an investment grows each year over a period of time. In SCHD's case, it's like saying your dividend income is growing by an average of 11.39% every year, which is pretty impressive. On the other side, we have JEPI, which has been less consistent with its dividend payouts. Unlike SCHD, JEPI's dividends don't show a clear upward trend over time. They are, in investment terms, erratic, meaning they can vary a lot from one period to the next, making it hard to predict how much income you'll get from them. But why this difference? It all comes down to their investment strategies. SCHD targets dividend growth stocks. These are stocks of companies known for not only paying regular dividends, but also for increasing them over time. SCHD holds onto these stocks for the long run, providing a more stable and predictable income stream. JEPI, however, uses a strategy called covered call writing. Here's a simple way to understand it. JEPI owns stocks and then sells or writes call options on these stocks. A call option is a financial contract that gives someone else the right to buy the stock at a set price. JEPI earns money premiums from selling these options. However, the income from these premiums can vary, especially due to implied volatility. This is why JEPI's dividend payments can be unpredictable and changing quite a bit from month to month. So, if you're an investor looking for a steady and growing income from dividends, SCHD is likely a better fit for you. It offers more stability and predictability in dividend growth compared to JEPI's more variable approach. Though SCHD takes the lead in consistent dividend growth, JEPI has its own strong suit, which is a higher dividend yield. 
In the past year, JEPI has offered a hefty dividend yield of 8.65% to its investors, which is quite substantial. In comparison, SCHD's yield stands at 3.52%, considerably lower than JEPI's. This means that for every $100 invested in JEPI, investors could expect around $8.74 in dividends, whereas the same investment in SCHD would yield about $3.67. So, if you're an investor who's more interested in the here and now, focusing on getting a higher income immediately from your investments, JEPI might be more up your alley. This ETF is particularly appealing if you need regular income, say for monthly expenses, because it pays out dividends every month. SCHD, in contrast, distributes dividends quarterly, which might not suit your needs if you prefer a more frequent income stream. Finally, let's delve into the composition of JEPI and SCHD's portfolios, where their differences become quite evident, especially in terms of sector exposure. JEPI leans heavily towards technology, with over 18% of its investments in this sector, making it the largest slice of its investment pie. In contrast, SCHD's focus is more on industrials, a different category of companies. This difference in investment focus is particularly intriguing because tech stocks have generally performed very well during the period JEPI has been around, yet SCHD has still managed to outperform JEPI. Diving deeper, JEPI boasts a portfolio of 136 different investments, which is a bit more diversified than SCHD's 104. Spreading investments across many stocks reduces the risk of a big loss if one company doesn't perform well. JEPI's top 10 stocks, including well-known names like Microsoft, Amazon, and Adobe, make up just over 15% of its entire portfolio. This broad spread minimizes the risk tied to any one company. On the other hand, SCHD has a more concentrated approach with its top 10 stocks, including Verizon, Amgen, and Broadcom, accounting for over 40% of its total investments. This means SCHD relies more heavily on the performance of its top stocks, which could be seen as a more risky approach compared to JEPI's wider spread. In essence, JEPI offers a more diversified, tech-heavy portfolio with a multitude of holdings, which might appeal to those looking to spread their risk. SCHD, however, banks more on a smaller pool of industrial and other stocks, which has worked in its favor performance-wise but comes with a different risk profile. While both JEPI and SCHD offer distinct advantages for dividend-focused investors, they ultimately cater to different aspects of the dividend investing strategy. JEPI stands out as the preferable option for those prioritizing immediate income, offering a higher dividend yield that appeals to retirees or investors who require current monthly cash flow. On the other hand, SCHD shines as the superior choice for long-term total return and dividend growth. Appealing to those with a longer investment horizon aiming to build wealth through compounding dividends and capital appreciation over years or even decades. At the current moment, with tech stocks being highly valued and dividends appearing more modest in comparison, SCHD's more defensive portfolio positioning might offer better value and resilience in an economic downturn. Overall, considering factors like total returns, expense ratios, and dividend growth, SCHD seems to be the superior ETF. But remember, a balanced investment strategy that includes both JEPI and SCHD might be the best approach, aligning with your individual needs for immediate income and long-term growth. As always, it's crucial to conduct your own due diligence before investing. Investment is not just about following trends, it's about making choices that align with your personal financial journey. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. If you found it at all helpful, then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Till next time, happy investing. Go!